which has been much better. If I telephoned me before you came, how did you get here? I came by train. My parents. I know what has happened in this fourth. He was agitated. Suddenly, there were bits of threads on the crown of his head. I could see them glisten. You cannot stay here, yes, sir. He said, "It's too dangerous." I couldn't believe what I was hearing. My parents said you would look after me, and I will. Of course, I will. He tried to smile at me, but he was full of nervous energy, and he was allowing his different thought processes to dumble over each other. Sit down, yes, sir. Please. He pointed to a chair. I'm sorry, but you have taken me completely by surprise. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Can I get you something? Before I could answer, he snatched up the telephone again. There's somebody I know. He explained to me. He's a friend. He can help you. I'm going to ask him to come. He dialed a number, and as I sat down facing him, uncomfortably close to the skeleton, he spoke quickly into the receiver. Is the man here? The boy is here. Yes, here at the university. He passed the wild person at the other end and spoke to him. We haven't had a chance to speak yet. I thought I should let you know at once. He was answering a question I had I had I had not heard. It seems all right. I'm hunt. Yes, we wait for you here. He put the phone down, and it seems to me that he was suddenly less agitated than he has been when I had a fight, as if he had done what was expected of him. For some reason, I was feeling uneasy, but the look of it, Professor Dementia wasn't pleased to see me. I was a, I was a danger to him. This was my parents' closest closest friend, but I was beginning to wonder how much their friendship was worth. How did you know who I was? I asked. I asked. I have been expecting you ever since I heard about what happened, and I recognize you, Yasha. You look very much like your mother. I saw the two of you together a few times when you were very young. You won't remember me. It was before your parents left Moscow. How? Why did they? Why did they leave? What happened? You worked with them. I worked with your father. Yes. Do you know that he's dead? I didn't know for certain. I'm sorry to hear it. He and I were friends. So tell me, are you sure I can't get you something?